According to a new rumor, Marvel's Eternal star, Kamali Najani, may soon be getting a second shot at superherodom courtesy of James Gunn in his brand new DC Cinematic Universe. Word of Najani's potential leap from Marvel to DC was first broke to public courtesy of pop culture news outlet Nexus Point News. In terms of credibility, while the Nexus Point News outlet as a whole has yet to fully confirm any of its previously floated scoops, its co-editor-in-chief, Demet K has broken a number of Marvel Magic-related scoots via his Scarlet Witch Updates Twitter account. These include Elizabeth Olsen's return as Wanda for What If Season 2, the full identities of Agatha All Along core cast, and the inclusion of Agatha All Along featurette in the WandaVision Stillbook release, which he obtained and fully leaked well ahead of its official shelf date. To this end, though Demet's pedigree has admittedly little bearing on the recidity of the city's DC knowledge, it does suggest that the site's editorial team has both legitimate insider contacts as well as some sense of which rumors have some possibility to them and those that do not. Relaying information provided to them by the supposed insider source, the outlet's Matthew W. alleged that the actor had not only landed the role of Booster Gold in the DC Universe, but was also currently set to portray the character in the upcoming DC Studio series Booster Gold, one of the upcoming entries of the highly anticipated DCU. As previously described by Gunn during the series' initial announcement, series called Booster Gold. Booster Gold is one of comics' really popular cult heroes. He is a fascinating guy. He's a loser from the future who uses future technology to come back to present day and become a superhero so that people will love him. It is basically the superhero story of imposter syndrome on an HBO Max series. And a little history about Booster Gold. Born in the 25th century, Michael John Carter is a man defined by his hopes and delusions of grandeur. Determined to make a name for himself after his father abandoned him and left him and his mother in near destitute, Carter originally sought to make his dreams come true on the gridiron, his athletic prowess making him a natural for the future as a professional football player. Eventually making a name for himself on the college circuit and earning the nickname Booster for his exceptional throwing skills, Carter's plans come to a screeching halt when he discovers that his mother has unexpectedly come down with life-threatening illness, the treatment of which costs enough to make even Bruce Wayne sweat just a little bit, which is basically the plot to half of manga and webtoons in the world. Knowing they had little to their name, Carter begins betting on his own games to raise the funds, even going so far as to purposely throw a number of games in order to juice his own winnings. Though his ploy allows him to earn enough money to heal his mother, Carter's illicit activities are ultimately uncovered by the authorities, who proceed to hand him a one-way ticket out of the potential football career and into a jail cell. Proceeding to serve his time, upon his release, a down-and-out Carter manages to wrangle his way into position as a security officer at the Metropolis Space Museum. Spending hours staring down exhibits recounting the exploits of the current era's greatest heroes, Carter takes it upon himself to turn his life around by becoming a bona fide superhero on his own. Stealing a number of artifacts from the museum, including a force field generating power suit and an energy blast ready set of gauntlets and a Legion flight ring, Carter travels back in time to the modern age to prove himself as a hero worthy of standing shoulder to shoulder with all time Justice League greats. And he eventually trades in super heroics for showboating before realizing his destiny as the savior of the time stream. Notably, as seen in the debut of 1986 Booster Gold Volume 1, Issue 1, Booster Gold was originally conceived as a blonde haired white guy. As such, should the rumor of Najani's casting as a self-centered hero come to pass, it would represent yet another instance of Hollywood race swapping, and the second overall for Booster himself, who was previously betrayed by Scrub star Donald Faison in the CW's Legends of Tomorrow. At current, neither James Gunn or his co-DC Studios head Peter Safran nor Najani have offered any public comment regarding the actor's potential addition to the DCU. And if we look at the history of how and when James Gunn does cast people, usually he only does so if the character is going to be included in an upcoming movie or TV show, or they have already discovered a writer and they have finished the script for Booster Gold. But outside of that, you guys leave a like and a comment and have a good one. Bye.